Hello friends and fellow Vedsies, welcome to what is day 28 of Veds. Uh, we're reaching the end of this month, we're getting to the point where my video ideas get a little bit uh, outside the box here. Uh, this will be a pretty quick video for me uh, in terms of making it because I'm not going to do a lot of editing. I just bought this like this week uh, from Crazy Bob's Record Emporium. Oh yeah, I should have warned you guys that there was going to be swearing in this video, but I guess you gleaned that from the thumbnail. This is Elvis's greatest shit. This is a bootleg from the 80s, a fairly legendary bootleg from the 80s. As you can see, it's on Dog Vomit Records, which is uh, sort of a parody of RCA Victor. Um, I wonder if I'll get flagged by YouTube for including this album cover, which has Elvis's infamous coffin photo. Yeah, they're making fun of the fact that RCA would always release like three Elvis albums a year regardless of whether they had new material, regardless of any of these things. This is all just a collection of real Elvis recordings that are terrible. Like, it's it's the worst of Elvis. Hence the title, Elvis's Greatest Shit, which is also an extremely morbid double entendre. With songs like Old MacDonald Had a Farm, uh, There's No Room to Roomba in a Sports Car, Yoga is as yoga does. He's your uncle, not your dad. Scratch my back, then I'll scratch yours. Uh, oh, the song, which is actually entitled Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce. I wonder if anyone who works on the Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce knows Elvis sang a song about them. Um, and then it's also got uh, a version of I Can't Help Falling in Love, where Elvis messes up halfway through the take and starts swearing. And then the infamous version of Are You Lonesome Tonight, where Elvis starts rambling. It comes with extras. It comes with a actual lyric sheet if you want to sing along to these terrible songs. As it says, sing along, make a fool of yourself. Uh, it says on the front cover, uh, extra added bonus, a prescription inside, signed by Dr. Nick. Dr. Nicopolis, of course, Elvis' uh, doctor who was famous for over-medicating. And I thought it was a joke, but sure enough, they've included... <laughs> Uh, an Elvis prescription form for Dilaudid, Quaalude, uh, Percodan, and some other things. Um, dated August 15th, 77, the day before Elvis is passing. And signed by Dr. Nick. And it looks like an actual, uh, prescription form that they may be, uh, found in some sort of investigation and, like, Xeroxed or something, because, I don't know, it looks very legit. I love Elvis. I really do. I know this is clearly making fun of the guy in not so tasteful a fashion. It's just one of those legendary bootlegs that I had never actually seen a copy of. Anyways, as bizarre a thing as that is, I'm actually stoked to own it. Just like this album, having fun with Elvis on stage. This album is an official release from RCA Victor. Or actually, no, I think in the States it was released under Boxcar Records, but in Canada it's on RCA. Not sure. Um, but, yeah, this is literally an entire album just of Elvis's talking on stage. Like, him introduce not even introducing songs, mostly just him rambling and having inside jokes with the audience and stuff. And basically, once you put it all on an album, it becomes a complete incoherent mess. The reason for this album's existence is hilarious. Uh, Elvis's, um... Manager, longtime and infamous manager, Colonel Tom Parker, was allegedly upset that uh, he couldn't release any Elvis music without having to give a certain percentage of the proceeds to RCA Victor, of course, them being the owners of the recordings. He was like, Elvis, you and I should be keeping all the profits from these albums. Let's, let's get one over on the record company. They say that they have to take a cut on any, me on any album of Elvis music. Well, we're going to release an Elvis album that they own no rights to because it contains no music at all. I'm not even kidding. That's the reason this album exists, and it was eventually deleted, which is to say taken off store shelves at Elvis's request because, I mean, this album is so goddamn stupid, which is why I'm so excited to own a copy of it. It's one of those where I'm like, I had to have this the second I saw it on the store shelf. Anyway... That's about it for this video. Just wanted to ramble on about some of the weird stuff in my record collection. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out the description for links to the channels for my other wonderful fellow Vedsies. There are seven of us in total making a video every day this month. Uh, only two days to go in this challenge. Obviously, I continue to make videos outside of September, but not at this breakneck pace. 
So, yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow and then the day after as well for the last two wrap-up days of VEDS. Thanks so much. See you guys again tomorrow.